Tonight we get to play Assassin's Creed for you on this gigantic screen. Um, for those of you who haven't heard of Assassin's Creed, it's the brand new franchise being developed at the Ubisoft Montreal studio. What you see here is a city that we haven't shown yet that some of you may recognize. It's Jerusalem, based on the historic documents from the period where this game takes place, the Third Crusade. Now everything that you see in the distance is interactive. Every building you see, you can actually pick your own path, climb anywhere, and make your way to it. Right now, our objective is to take out Talal, a slave trader, who's located right behind us. So we're gonna jump down. Okay, luckily no one saw that. We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna jump down and make our way through the crowd. And crowd as some of you may know, is one of the big focuses for Assassin's Creed. Um, what Patrice is doing here, bumping into people, carrying jars, is probably not a good idea. Uh, it's better to gently push them out of the way, especially if there are soldiers around. And you can see here there's this beggar who's also a different gameplay element. Well, Patrice <laughs> decided to get rid of her rather quickly. But um, she gets in your way and will slow you down. So part of your objective as an assassin isn't only getting to know the city, but also getting to know the people, because all of the crowd can either help or hinder you, you in your mission. To say. Hey, you know what you want. What is it? So clearly these guys um, are protecting the pass. So we're going to have to find another way into Talal's warehouse. Last year we showed you the monks over there. Um, that's one way to get by protected areas, but we're going to show you a different trick tonight. That guard standing over there is going to be a good way to create a diversion and distract the guards below. If you can see, um, that dead body is drawing their attention and we're going to use this time to swing by here. And now we're almost at Talal's warehouse. Door closed, that's not a good sign. Help me! Save me! Okay, this is a trap. <laughs> I was trying to tell him now that. Now I stand before you. What is it you desire? Come down here. Let us settle this with honor. Why must it always come to violence? It seems I cannot help you, Ashashi, for you do not wish to help yourself. And I cannot allow my work to be threatened. You leave me no choice. You must die. So now since we're cornered, it's a good time to show up this and fight. This will teach you not to trespass. No more delays! Be done with him! That was a very skillfully landed counterattack. Our fight system is very realistic. It's based on well-timed combos, like that one, and counter-attack, where you use the enemy's attack animation to time your counter. You can also use the environment. And there's four different weapons to choose from. Patrice just changed to a short sword, which also comes with throwing knives, which are your long-range weapon. Awesome. Okay, Talal finally decided it's time to get out of there. Um, this is going to give us a good opportunity to show off our chase AI. We've made Talal have his own personality in the chase. And no two chases will be the same. Basically, he's a cocky guy, he's overconfident, he set this trap for you. If you get far behind, he's going to stop and wait for you and taunt you. If you get close up, he's going to throw away. objects in away. your way, he's going to change his path. He'll even throw some of the people in your path like that, um, anything to slow you down, so no two chases are the same. 
And now that you can see the crowd becomes a dynamic obstacle. Okay, Patrice has gone up here to try and do something uh, that Talal can't do, which is free running. To try and use that time away from the crowd to catch up with him. Okay, almost got him. Awesome. <laughs> That's all we have time for.